Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. So I'm just gonna put this spine on top of you just to explain what I'm doing. That feel okay right there? Mm -hmm. So basically what we got going on is that this part of her pelvis and the, this part of the sacrum right here is stuck. And the, because that's stuck, it's causing this area, this it's called a right ilium, to be rocked backwards. When it rocks backwards or it just rocks forward in general, it causes pain and discomfort right here, which is exactly where she's feeling it too. So all you gotta do is a simple adjustment to be able to fix that and put that all back to where it needs to be. So that way it starts feeling better and she starts to function better. So let me put my spine right over here. You can put your head on this beautiful Boston building oh, right there. <laughs> We've gotten a few comments saying, uh, are you guys from Boston? But I'm from Boston, but the practice is in Austin. And I went with a Boston pillow, not a Patriots pillow, because I didn't want to lose any patience. <laughs> so I'm going to have you bend this leg like this. Cool. And then I'm going to steal this arm from you a little bit. So you just give yourself a nice big hug like this. Nice. Then I'm going to bring you just a little bit closer. Good. So in this way, all I'm going to do is contact that area and help bring that up a little bit. Good. Just like that. Cool? Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's have you switch over to the other side for me, please. Sound like a bowl of Rice Krispies just pouring on the milk. <laughs> Let's have you bend this leg, please. Yeah, we're going to steal this again. Nice big hug right there. Yeah, whatever's comfortable. Is that comfortable? <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm just going to bring your hips this way a little bit. Good. That was the one right there. So beforehand, I was... I bent her knees up to her waist and she was saying it started to feel like a lot of discomfort right inside here. So now, let me know if that feels a little bit different when I go like this. It does. Actually, yeah. the right is relieved and I feel it more on this side now. Yeah. So that just means that we're already starting to make a change, which is good because it's been there for so long that now her body's trying to change it up a little bit, which is perfect. Yeah, and now we got a lot more spring in there. Beautiful. And then we start working our way up the rest of the spine. So yeah, years and years of doing bodybuilding and different weightlifting and stuff like that, if we're not addressing our spine and really addressing how it's moving, it can start to get stuck in some areas and cause that discomfort and pain. Cool. What I want you to do is I want you to give yourself a nice big hug like this. And actually, I'm going to have you go more like that. Sweet. And I'm just going to roll you over this way a little bit. Good. I'm just going to contact this one area right here. Good. I want you to take a big breath in. And let it all the way out. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. You're not one that really speaks a lot. These, these are making me feel great. <laughs> you can relax those hands. This is definitely a lot of tension that's been built up for a little while. Perfect. Now a lot of it really does stem from what's going on in the upper neck. And that if there's anything going on in the upper neck, any misalignment or areas that are stuck, it's going to affect your brainstem, which is pretty important. And you're literally, once you start to get that corrected, you can start to think better, have better control over your emotions, uh, variety of different aspects right there too. When we are doing our exam, we found that there was an area in her upper neck that was misaligned. Yeah, in the lower neck. Good. Yeah. Here, so this is a little adjustment up in the upper neck on this left side right here. So you just want to do a whole lot of nothing. I'm just gonna put your hand right there. And I want you to lower that shoulder a little bit for me too. Perfect. Good. I'm just gonna get right on that. Perfect. Good. Nice and simple, just like that. Good. And then take a nice big breath all the way up here. And let it out nice and slow. Good. Because I want to check out your feet as well. Do you know you're gonna get your feet adjusted today? No, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay, cool. Did you know that chiropractors adjust feet? I did. Okay, she knew. Not a lot of people know. <laughs> but she said that she's rolled her ankle before. You said it was back in like high school? Yeah. Yeah, in high school. 
So 26 bones in each foot, and the way we like to adjust these, we basically just want to find areas in the foot that aren't moving properly and make them move properly. And it takes a little while just because there's so many different bones. Right inside here. And especially as a personal trainer on your feet all day, you definitely cause a little bit of discomfort. Right inside here. Oh. There. Oh, that one got to no. know. <laughs> So that was your talus right inside there. So the talus is, ooh, that's way better. Talus is one of the only bones inside the body, but especially inside the ankle, that doesn't have any muscle attachments onto it. So it's more prone to becoming dislocated or just falling out of alignment like that, which will screw up your entire gait when it's like that. Yeah. I think that had to move. What do you think? That felt real good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And as long as you still have 10 toes when we're done, I did a good job, right? Yes, you're off the hook. I guess I'm off the hook. That's <laughs> right, and that's good. And believe me, we adjust some nasty feet inside here, some stinky feet, so we got lucky with, with these ones. No, these ones are okay, believe me. One of my patients, he works as a plumber, and he came in after after work, uh, and whew, he took off his socks and everything too. I'm like, man, you can keep those on. <laughs> it's right inside here, so it's actually the navicular on this one. It's right inside here. Beautiful. How'd that one feel? Really good. Oh yeah. And then the cuboid. Whenever I'm done with the feet, I always slap them. <laughs> so that's a good slap. Yeah, it's a good slap. The time you sit all the way up and swing your legs around this way. And then can you explain a little bit about how you feel and like how it feels different? I think before I felt very, um, just like, kind of like I was crammed into a box, I think is the mm. best way to explain it. And now I feel very loose, like everything. It, I feel very like, in place, aligned, I guess is the best way to That's explain That's a great it. way to put it. I yeah. like that. So now that she's back in alignment, we can do a, our, our evaluation to see how much better she's getting and then let her know more about how we can continue to improve her ability to function correctly, both in here and out when she's doing personal training. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. Right in here to the base of the occiput and drop these shoulders. Drop 